Hello, my name is Tim Swan. My wife, Susie, our two girls, Sam and Mac, and I have been attending St. Mark's Episcopal Church in St. Marcus, Texas since 2013. I've had the privilege of serving on the vestry and being the junior warden during my time there at this church. Additionally, I have led a few Sunday, adult Sunday school classes. I think my time in the adult Sunday school arena is probably what prompted someone to ask me the question, Tim, how would you teach stewardship? I struggled for a while thinking about how to teach stewardship, but finally I decided it's probably best if I just describe some of the characteristics which lead my family's call to action regarding stewardship. The best way to summarize it would be using what, what we will walk through as the three R's recognition, relationship, and response. From a recognition perspective, in our house, we try to recognize that Jesus is Lord of all things, as it's stated in the Nicene Creed. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, all things were made. When we recognize that he should be in control, we're convinced that life becomes so much easier because we submit ourselves to discovering his will rather than our own. We don't focus on doing 10 different things at once. We focus on trying to let him lead us towards the individual interactions and situations and people that he wants us to experience. We try to do this because it's truly amazing to us that a God who knows how many stars there are in the sky truly wants to have a dynamic relationship with each one of us. And this leads us to discuss the relationship aspect of the three R's. It is truly humbling to think that the creator of all that is, seen and unseen, desired to have a relationship with us so much that he gave his only begotten son. You see, in our family, we try to emphasize the fact that Jesus came so that we might have life to the full. The only way for us to uncover what that life truly is, is to try to walk in his love and grow deeper into our relationship with him. Prayer, worship, study, and fellowship with other believers is how we continue to grow deeper in that relationship and try to discern his will for our lives. It's also how we continue to recognize that he is Lord and how he continues to bless our family even when we don't clearly see the blessings. How can we not respond to this type of life-giving relationship? From a re response perspective, when we recognize he is Lord, and we understand that he, what all he did to build a relationship with us, it should be a natural transition for us to become a conduit for his blessings. As he continues to provide for us, we share his grace for us with our church, our family, our friends, our schools, our coworkers. We do this by making sure we share our time, talent, and money in ways that would be acceptable to him. To me, that is the beginning of stewardship. It's not about determining a percentage to give. It's more about searching for where we see God at work and then joining him with our time, talents, and money. St. Mark's continues to help our family discover many different places where he is at work, and more importantly, how we can connect our time, talents, and money with his movements. In our church family, in our youth, in the community, in San Antonio, in our great state of Texas, in Honduras, in the world, St. Mark's helps us discover how God is moving and how we can join our resources with his efforts. So I would say that stewardship looks like this. After I recognize who Christ is, and I say, I believe, 
I should continue to grow in my faith, in my relationship with him. And my response from that relationship and recognizing that he is the Christ should be a response that says, how much more of my time, how much more of my talents, and how much more of my income can I give to St. Mark's or to the church? or to God's will, to ensure that others in my community, in my country, and in my world can have the opportunity to learn about the redemptive grace that awaits for them in Christ Jesus.